a warm welcome to all today i am going to discuss about class dialysia which comes under subphylum urochordata urochordata or tunicata is a group of primitive marine solitary or colonial chordates urochords are mostly sedentary and rarely pelagic forms urochords are classified into three classes namely class acidacea class larvacea and class dialysia so we can go to the topic class dialysia these are cylindrical barrel shaped and transparent body covered by a thin or thick transparent and permanent dust muscle fibers of the body wall may be arranged in complete or incomplete circular bands or may be held diffusely these contains branchial and atrial apertures are at opposite ends Hmm. absence of tail and not a coat in the adult branchial sac is large and it opens to the atrium either by a pair of large stigmata or by a several pairs of small stigmata asexual reproduction is by body and gonads are hermaphroditic development may be direct or indirect and direct indirect development involves a tail larva Dialysia is divided into three types namely cyclomeria or doliolida hemimeria or salpida and pyrosomida in cyclomeria muscle bands are complete and they completely encircle the body in hemimeria muscle bands are ventrally incomplete and they only partially encircle the body so the examples of class dialysia are doliolum salpa and pyrosoma so we are going to discuss a brief account on doliolum doliolum is a marine free swimming pelagic dialysian seen in the tropical and temperate seas it exhibits in polymorphic form its life cycle exhibits a regular alternation of generation between two morphological different phases namely sexually reproducing solitary phase and asexually reproducing gregaria phase <coughs> solitary phase is represented by the solitary sexual adult called gonozoid also doliolum is encircled by eight circular muscle bands and ciliated endostyle and peripharyngeal bands are present but dorsal lamina is absent in gregaria phase represents the asexual colonial stage it is formed by the repeat budding of one oozoid oozoid is similar to gonozoid as oozoid is formed from the sexual reproduction of gonozoid life cycle of doliolum is complex oozoid develops a ventral budding stem called stolon and a posterior dorsal outcrop called cadaver Gregaria phase is represented by the arrangement of stolon on the cad of four in three rows one median and two lateral the lateral buds are the first to arrive and they give rise to sterile nutritive zoids of the colony called gastrozoid median buds which arrived after it gave rise to another sterile zoid called forozoid and the last bud attached to the stalk of forozoid and become the sexual zoid of the solitary phase